Hi, Dr. Pat here again, back with another uh, video blog on competencies of coaching based on the International Coach Federation. Today we're going to talk about listening. It goes without saying, no pun intended, that listening is the key component of a coaching conversation, actually of any conversation other than just a chat. Coaching is a unique conversation that um, two people have together with one being the designated coach and one being the client or coachee or person being listened to, whether it's formal or informal. And active listening is an interesting term. In fact, I prefer to call it focused listening, but active works. Active listening was actually created by Tom Gordon back in the days of parent effectiveness training uh, based on some of the early work of Carl Rogers. So effective listening as a helper has been around for a long time. In the coaching relationship, active listening, especially for someone like me, is kind of a listen and clarify, listen and clarify. So I'm actively listening and active in the process of clarifying with the client, am I hearing what they're saying, am I understanding it, without editorializing. So I'm repeating their words, but I'm also stretching it a little bit, checking out with them if I'm getting it. So I'm active in the process of listening. I'm not just listening, nodding my head and allowing more conversation. Although part of active listening also includes the use of silence. And you have to have spaces in the listening. Um, Benjamin Zander, who is the director of the Boston Philharmonic, I've heard on a couple occasions at coaching conferences, brilliantly say that beautiful music is made by the spaces between the notes. And I think beautiful coaching is created by the spaces between the words. So there needs to be a pause, there needs to be a reflection, there needs to be a connection that the client sees and or feels if it's over the phone, senses, but you need to be active. You can't just listen, maybe repeat a few words, uh, and that's it. You need to say things like, tell me more. Um, what else? Uh, and, that, and that gets to other parts of coaching that we'll talk about next time. So when you do your coaching, keep in mind that it's an active listening process or focused listening. The focus is on the client, what they're saying, and what they're not saying. See you next time. This is Dr. Pat signing off.